Good day, everyone, and today you're welcome to Central Crack Channel. I'm Jackie Central. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video. You're welcome to this one big family. And what are we gonna be doing today? Just a few minutes, uh, how to achieve a rectangular or a square like shape neckline for a, a, a tube top. A strapless tube top or a tube top with you. One of my students, some of my students have been stepping for this design because she was saw a design to me and wanted to say, I can achieve so a design to I can achieve this uh, rectangular so that it's so easy as easy as that. Yes, so I said, let me do it. And in case you don't know what to my video on the strapless tube top, I'll link the link below and I'll just try to do a link with you because this is as easy as it can be. So let's get started. So right now you can see from the pattern on the table, you want to achieve the neckline for the yoke. It's pretty easy. The neckline for the tube, so sorry. If you don't know how to achieve this, there is no much it is as simple as A and B and C. I've done this before. I'll give you the link in this video just below. You can check to see how to achieve this. Although we achieve the sweetheart neck with that, but what we want to achieve now is the rectangular or square-like shape neckline for the for the tube, we already have the neckline for the yoke, just like so. You could make it a v-neck, the yoke part. But the tube now, it's so easy, as easy as A and B and C. Please, if you don't know how to achieve this, don't don't let us just go back to that. You have a video to that. Just watch and you get to this point where we are now. It's as easy as A and B and C. So let's just quickly achieve the neckline. Achieving the rectangular neckline for your tube top or tube blouse is so easy. You just come to this bust line or you, you come to the this bust line from this bust line you can see the center front is here that was how i i opened it the center front is here so from this bust line i want to move two inches away uh apart on both sides so just to see what i'm going to come back to two inches apart so this is the bust line this is the chest line this is the bust line this is the underburst line and this is the waistline as you can see. So from this bust line and from the exact bust points, bust point, this is the bust points, as you can see, this is the nipple to nipple, eight inches divided by two, you're gonna have four. So from this bust point, four inches, that's why I'm using red marker. I'm gonna move two inches away to the right and two inches away to the left, just like so. So I'm gonna take a ruler right now and connect straight to this dart point. Can you see? To where I have the dart. And I connect this as well. So what are we going to do now? Let me accentuate this point and make it look okay. So you just come, if you have your cup to, you determine how you want this part to be. Maybe it's just curve a little to the handful point the little to the apple point. You can see we're already having something like rectangle or square like here. So let me see if I can do that with my pattern master just like so. Considering this that can you see that? Just extend to make sure the price is there. Then I also come here. So you can now see what I'm saying. So this is the yoke part. 
this is the yolk and this is the two. You can see we already have what we just want to achieve is a what? We are achieving a square like or rectangular neckline for the tube. This is the tube right now. This is the tube. So you just cut out. You just cut out. So we are achieving. So for you not to be confused, you can just say this part A, part B, part C, part C, part D. So we cut out and you see how it's going to look like. So this is the yolk part. This is the uh, tube top. So by the time you cut out right now, you are going to be having something square like, I think this is square or rectangle. So that's just what I want to show us. So right now you can see what I was just trying to explain to you. You can see this is the tube part and you're having like a rectangular or a square-like neckline for your tube part and the yoke also. So remember when you want to cut out on your fabric, by the time you want to cut on this pattern, you're going to be leaving half inch allowance. Before you cut out on that pattern, all you need, you just create allowance for your joining. You could create half inch allowance for the or one inch please but you ju just make sure but for this yoke part you're going to create one inch for it remember you cut out half inch from here and half inch for sewing allowance so you create that allowance for it and you could achieve the sleeve you want then remember you might be asking how are you going to do it to the uh half feet maybe you want to use this yoke as a lace material you want to use a lace material on an ankara fabric or any fabric you just uh, join the Ankara or whatever and lace, you sew them by the side together, then you use your lining to do the turning pin, just like so. Before you now have it, for you to sew this, you have to be very careful, know how to get your stitches, round your stitches on your machine, because by the time you get here, you have to uh, just go up and try to achieve this carefully. It requires real carefulness and you notch carefully and iron out carefully so that you have the proper fitting. I have the picture, she, did, she sent me a picture of a dress uh, or, or a top that someone made with this type of neckline and it was, it was good. So let me just see what you come out with, with this type of neckline. So this is just how to achieve like a square-like or rectangular neckline for your tube. Remember this is the tube part. So just like that and this for you. So it's as easy as A and B and C. I'll still repeat, if you don't know how I drew out that uh, pattern before cutting out the neckline, I'm leaving the link below. It's as easy as A and B and C. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has been, don't forget to give me thumbs up, like, share, and connect us to get our free one month class. And actually our regular classes are going on on www.sexualfashionschool.com. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Sexual Fashion School, and on YouTube. Uh, we are already on YouTube, on Facebook, Sexual Fashion School. Yeah, till I come your way next time, I remain to catch you, bye bye.